welcome to the program Headlines Nigeria here on Internet Television International. I am Grace Ukot. Join me as we go through the news making the headlines today. With the 2011 general elections drawing near, there have been lots of activities in the political arena. The first paper here is Leadership Newspaper with the headline, I notified ANPP, Jonathan, of my ambition, Shekharao. In a reaction to claims by the immediate past chairman of the All Nigeria People's Party, Chief Edwin Ume Ezeoke, that he is yet to inform the leadership of the party of his intention to contest for the 2011 presidential election, Governor Ibrahim Shekarao of Kano State has said that the allegation INEC six time extension for elections, that's in Vanguard newspaper. Independent National Electoral Commission said yesterday that the timeline for the compilation of voters register as well as the elections proper was too short. The commission said it will liaise with all stakeholders to explore the legal possibility of extending the timeline for the compilation of the voters register and the election. Presidency Saraki declares today on television. Chairman Nigeria Governors Forum and Governor of Kwara State, Dr. Bukola Saraki, will today formally declare his interest to contest the 2011 presidential election on the platform of the People's Democratic Party using the television. Gusau joins presidential race that's in the next newspaper. The National Security Advisor to the President, Aliyu Gusau, has resigned his appointment. The retired Army General is expected to apply to the People's Democratic Party today in order to run as a presidential candidate in the October primaries. Still in next newspaper, former minister denies political ambition. The former minister of special duties, Remy Babalola, in his first public com comment since his resignation last week said he was proud of his achievement while in office and he has no intentions to run for political office. And in the news, leadership newspaper carries the story, NAFDAQ boss escapes assassination. The Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Dr. Paul Ohi, narrowly escaped death at the weekend when unknown gunmen attacked him along the Makadi Abuja Road. Nigerian Tribune Police intensified search for five kidnapped female corps members. Men of the Nigeria Police and other security agencies have been deployed in the forest at the border between Rivers and Abia states as a search for five female corps members who were on Thursday night kidnapped by unknown armed men intensifies. Fresh flood sacks communities in Jigawa, Kebi. 5,000 towns and villages have been cut away from the outside world by flood in Jigawa State. This was disclosed by the state governor, Al Haji Sule Lamido, at a special press briefing on Sunday in Dutse, the capital city of the state. He said the flood destroyed over 90,000 hectares of farm products in 12 local government areas of the state. And in business, Nigerian Tribune carries the headline Petroleum Ministry Permsec becomes Nigeria's governor. For OPEC. The Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Dezani Alison Madwiki, has appointed the permanent secretary of the ministry, Mr. Goni Musa Sheikh, as Nigeria's governor for the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Anxieties mount in financial sector as CBN SEC meet. Both decisions are expected to be taken this week towards the resuscitation of the financial sector as key regulators of the banking sector and capital market, the Central Bank of Nigeria and Securities and Exchange Commission meet separately during the week. Leadership newspaper Only One urges Nupeng to sustain current product supply. The group managing director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, engineer Austin Oniwon, has called on members of the National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, NUPENG, to work hard to sustain the current supply of petroleum products across the country. And in sports next newspaper, I fear no foe, says Falcons coach. Ahead of the 7th African Women's Championship to be held in South Africa, the Super Falcons coach Ukeria Uche says she has no fear for any of the countries featuring in the biennial tourney. Tiger will be in fighting mood at Ryder Cup, says Harrington. Tiger Woods will go out with all guns blazing at next month's Ryder Cup to try to make amends for a mediocre season, triple major champion Padraig Harrington said over the weekend. Leadership newspaper Blatter sends Megari congratulatory message. 
In spite of the current crisis rocking the Nigeria Football Federation, FIFA President Seb Blatter may have ignored the Nigerian court decision by giving his tacit recognition of the new executive committee of the Nigeria Football Federation headed by Al-Haji Aminu Megeri by sending him a congratulatory message on his victory at the recent polls. Daily Trust newspaper Galadima wants government intervention in NOC crisis. Former NFA chairman Ibrahim Galadima on Sunday called on the federal government to intervene in the current crisis rocking Nigerian sports, culminating in Friday's nullification of the Nigeria Olympic Committee's elections. Speaking with the news agency of Nigeria, Galadima said the government had a responsibility to mediate. And with these stories, we wrap up today's edition of the program. Log on tomorrow for yet another edition. Thanks for joining us.